God to give me a child for months and months, and he has not given me. Honestly, I can't take it anymore of this difficult situation that I'm going through. Even though I pray and fast, I don't see my prayers being fulfilled. It feels like God has completely forgotten and abandoned me. Everyone in my family makes fun of me. You know, sister. Until today, I have not yet found a job and my husband is angry against me. I really don't know what to do anymore. I feel so troubled and disturbed in my daily life. Oh my sister, you know, stop complaining. Just because you haven't yet had a child from God doesn't mean he doesn't listen to you or that he has already abandoned you. He is the master of times and circumstances. Let him quietly act in your life as it is pleasant to him. Please don't rush things. Be patient, keep praying and you will certainly see the powerful hand of God working mightily in your life. Have you forgotten that he gave Sarah had a child at the age of 90? This God has never changed. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Only believe in him, and you will see his glory manifest in your life. Okay thank you so much, sister. That reassures me. I would continue to persevere in the faith. Okay, it's working, Jessica. May Lord strengthens and encourages you. Thank you so much, sister. I like. I love it so much when you complain. Jessica. Here is a Christian woman who complains all the time. Don't you know that your creator doesn't like it? I really want you to continue to complain for the rest of your life, because I know that if you continue like this, you will never return to your glory and your destiny. I can't wait to go home and make some food for my husband, because I know that he will be coming home from work soon. Where did you come from like that? I came from the meeting, my husband. I had no idea you were going to be coming home anytime soon. Are you saying that to me? Didn't I already forbid you not to go to the meeting in my absence? Yes, but I just went quickly to see Sister Anna at the church. She had even given me some advice about the difficult situations I am currently going through. I don't care. And why didn't you cook my meal for me before leaving? It's because I thought you weren't coming home at this time. Give her a beating right away and forbid her to never do that behind your back again. Also starts to make fun of her for being sterile. Ouch, 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 you heard me. I never want you to do that behind me again. Here, I am the boss and you must obey my orders. Tell me honestly since you've been going to this church. Have you ever seen one of your prayers come true? <laughs> Let me tell you that God will never listen to you because you are too stubborn and very unbelieving. I'm so sure God doesn't even know you. At your age, you are unable to give me a child. I promise you that I won't stay like this for the rest of my life. If you couldn't give me a baby, surely one of these days, I'm going to do it with another woman. Well, I've said enough now. Continue to sow lack of confidence in herself and to make fun of her. Continue to seriously destabilize her faith. By doing this, you will cancel the promises of the Creator to her life. Don't you know that without faith it's impossible to please God? Because those who approach God must believe that God exists and that He is the rewarder of those who seek Him. Wow! Do you realize the atrocity of the words that come out of your mouth? I really have the impression that with you that I would not advance in the Christian faith, you are really tiring me out. And if this goes on like this, I'm just going to divorce you and go join my mother quietly because I can't really get enough of what you say on a daily basis. Well done. I like these types of Christians who already want to divorce every time there is a problem, instead of going to prayer and imploring the grace and mercy of the Creator on their couple. Many prefer to divorce. Don't you know that this is not in the Creator's plan? You don't marry to divorce but you marry for better and for worse. So how have you been since the last time we met at the assembly? No, not at all. I am on the verge of breaking up. My husband and I are even on the verge of divorce. What? 
Jessica, never allow the knights to mislead you. Hold your hands in your hands and pray with faith and fervor and you will see how the all-powerful warrior, strong in combat, will act powerfully in your relationship and in your... Okay, sister. Thank you so much for comforting my heart and soul. Of nothing. Nothing, Jessica. Good day to you and see you soon. Thanks, Anna. What is the purpose of your visit, big sister? It's really sad that I come to see you little sister, because I really tried everything and it didn't work out. None of my prayers are coming to fruition. I feel tired and frustrated on a daily basis. I am really out of breath. You know, little sister, I still haven't found a solution to the difficulties I'm going through in my life. I still don't have kids, I still don't have a job and what hurts me the most is that my husband threatens me every day at home. It's very disheartening what you just told me. Honestly, I don't know what to tell you. If you want, all you have to do is join me, because I too am tired of praying and not being answered. I am also really fed up with the life I am currently living. Okay, I see. You know little sister, let's decide together to stop praying then, because nothing changes in our life. Of course, sister, you are absolutely right. This is exactly what I expected. Don't you know that it was because of prayer that I couldn't touch your life? Jessica doesn't even know how many times I tried to attack her spiritually and failed to touch her life. Here's an example over here. One day, I decided to follow her everywhere and to be able to harm her. But I quickly realized that it was not a good idea because I always felt stuck at some distance from her. You can't even touch a single hair so much that your face shone like the sun. And I even said to myself, despite all the problems she was currently going through in her life, how is it that she is still divinely protected? I was very shocked to see that Jessica was God's daughter. The only defect she has is that she keeps complaining, doubting her faith and immediately wanting what she wants in life. Well, let's get back to our sheep. One day, when she took the train, I also hastened to take the same train with her. Unfortunately, this had not been possible as I could not even get on the train there was a strong light and was just holding me at the entrance of the train. And I saw it like that in front of my eyes. What? What did I just hear like that? I had no idea that my wife was protected by God up to this point. God, forgive me for my unbelief. Never again will I doubt your power. What? What did I just see like that? I could never imagine that my big sister was so protected despite all the difficult problems she went through on a daily basis. Incredulous and foolish as we were, we even decided to stop praying to God. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and our faults. Never again in life. We are going to question your power again. Now we know that you are with us, even in the difficult times we may be going through. Never in life we still doubt the faith we have in you. Thank you so much for letting us know that. Wow. I am really shocked at the dream I had just had. I didn't know that God was working like that in our lives. May his name be so blessed forever and ever. Amen. This is a bit of the dream I had recently. I was very shocked when I saw that. Oh. May the name of the Lord be mightily glorified and magnified forever and ever. I could never imagine once in my life, that the Lord had put his protective barrier around me to protect me from my enemies. This means that he hears all my prayers and listens to all my supplications. Never again. Throughout my life, I will still doubt my Christian faith. I now know that he is at work in my life and that he will give me all good things in due time. Obviously, my wife, I too, starting today, I will never insult or make fun of you again because I know that you are the daughter of God and that I should take very good care of you from now on. Oh okay my man, it's so nice to hear that coming from you. Unbelievable. These foolish Christians want to stop praying to God. They don't know that it's their prayer that keeps them alive to this day. Stop praying, you will see that you will no longer live on this earth. I am the one who will tell you that. Well, it's time for me to go and attack Jessica mystically.
No, I had already given up on that. I would never spend my life on this earth without addressing prayer requests to my Creator. Already, where do you come from and who are you to come and talk to me in my sleep? I order you, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to disappear from my front door. I never want to see you again in my dreams. What is this dream I had just had? I give glory to God that I was finally able to triumph. Tomorrow, I'm going to tell my girlfriend about this at the assembly. I am so edified by the dreams you had just shared with me. Just because we are going through problems or difficulties in life does not mean that God has abandoned us. I also understood that God gives us all things good in His time, because His time is not necessarily our time. I also understand why the scriptures tell us that to do all kinds of prayers and supplications by the Spirit at all times. Watch over this with complete perseverance and pray for all the saints. And yes, I also understand why the Bible told us to pray constantly. Obviously, sister, we need to know that God is a faithful God and that He never abandons His children. We should also know that there is no man to lie, nor the son of a man to repent. Of course. Okay you know, sister, when we pray, we have to believe that our prayers are answered. We must not allow doubt and lack of faith to destroy our requests to our Creator. We should seek to remain firm in the faith and tell ourselves that the Lord is in control of everything and that He takes care of us, even if problems persist. We need to learn to trust Him completely. By singing and glorifying His name, in the righteousness, in the sanctification and in sincerity. Okay, sister. Thank you very much for your message, it comforts me a lot. Already, I have noticed a big change in my man's life, because since he told me about this dream, he now treats me like a queen at home. He no longer even doubts the faith I currently have in Jesus Christ. Oh! Let us give all the glory to the Creator. Amen. Just persevere in prayer with your husband, and you will see that you will have victory in every area of your life. Okay God bless you abundantly. Amen. I don't even have to worry anymore because I know that one of these days, the Lord, will give us everything our heart desires. I have complete confidence in Him and I know that He will give us all good things in due time. May His name be powerfully elevated from eternity to eternity until forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you liked this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.